What's going on guys, Vinny Prime here, and we're back with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved on the island map. And as you can see, we're out on our quetzal, we're heading towards Morbs, and we have this kitty cat in tow. So I was flying through the redwoods, I was just doing kind of a sweep of the redwoods uh, this morning before I went to work. Uh, and what I do is I fly around the trees, I'll show you a bit after we tame this guy, but I fly around the trees, I look for thylos, and then I, I shoot them and knock them off if they're low level. Because usually it's just full of level 8s and 4s and maybe some 30s and 50s, but you know, nothing good. So we trank them, they fall off the tree, and then they bite stuff and die. Uh, but I actually came across a 108, which I just, I didn't expect. Yeah, we just, we just haven't been finding good levels. Uh, but I did, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try drop them in Morb's taming pen. And see how that goes. I haven't done a taming pen one yet. We have that little wooden taming pen, but I don't, but I don't know how these guys go. Cool, so we're just going to drop this guy right in here. Sorry about that, I had a bit of a disruption. Uh, can we get him right? I don't know if he'll stay in. I hope he does. I hope he doesn't attack any mobs things. Let's get our gun out. I don't know how bullet, many bullets he's going to take. Hopefully we can make some kibble here as well. Boom. Hey. Hey there guy. Pretty angry. He's just going to run away. Come back here. Ah, oh, right in the neck. Oh. You're a pretty kitty, aren't you? Hey there. Hey there, guy. Oh, sorry about your luck. Stuck in that little pen, just getting shot. Oh, right in the butt. Right in the boot. Go to sleep, buddy. Go to sleep. Hey there, guy. Oh, that one missed. 108 Mal Silo. We're gonna need a good name. Good name for a... I know what I'm going to call him. I have a great name. You guys are going to love it. Remember, if you guys like the episode, smash that thumbs up button. If you guys have any comments, please put them in the comment section down below. And if you guys want to see some more, please subscribe. Ah, oh, hey. You're looking quite prickly there, dude. Some kind of porcupine cat. Ah, oh, go to sleep. I don't, know. Ooh, I don't know how many uh, darts this guy is supposed to take, so hopefully we have enough. I have to run in and borrow some mobs. Thankfully, I don't think he'll mind. I'm gonna go down. And he's down. So, 108 file up. Let's run inside and see if he has any Titan Boa Kibble. Kibble. Kib kib Titan Boa Kibble. Snag eggs. May not have the kibble itself, but he should have the eggs. Uh, what do we got in here? Nothing. What do we got in here? Uh, Ichthy, Dodo, Dodo, Listro. They were white, weren't they? Vulture, blah 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 blah. And Kilo Egg. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, guys. I'm going to reach out to uh, some of the other peeps on the server. I'll see if I can uh, pull together some Titan Bow eggs. And I'll bring you guys back in a moment. Okay, y'all. So we just put 30, 40 narcotics on there. Um, and uh, we were lucky enough to have one of the other players come and drop off a couple of eggs. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get inside mobs and we're going to make some kibble real quick. So I believe it takes long grass and cooked meat jerky. Uh, and, he luckily, and he also has a cooker. So let's take three long grass. And uh, let's take a couple of cooked meat jerky. If you're watching this mob, I will definitely replace it at some stage. Probably never if I ever get around to it. Uh, and we're going to put them in the cooker. Uh, we also need Mejos and Fiber, so I know that Bernadette is a Fiber machine. Oh, and she's still got the Mejos on there from last time I did this. Okay, we're going to put these in the cooker. We're going to turn it on. 
hopefully, out pops some Tainbow kibble, kib kibble. Does he definitely not have that egg in there? I could have sworn he had at least one. No, definitely not. Maybe he put it somewhere else, maybe he used it, who knows. He does have a couple of these guys now, so... Any second now? Is it... I wonder if it's hooked up to water. Hmm. It looks like it doesn't have any water in there. Let's run over to the water here. Ah! I'm so fast I can't get... Looks like there's something out there attacking my Quetzal too, but that's okay. He's pretty tough. We just want to get this done. Uh, put that in there. Gonna... Gonna pop some junk out. Any... any second now? I feel like that's enough stuff. Uh... Primate jerky is probably the problem. What am I doing? Uh, <laughs> I've done this before, definitely. One, two. I mean, it's getting foggy. Okay, this time. There we go. One, two. Okay. Let's take our water jar back. Uh, let's take that long grass. It's going to expire anyway. Okay. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Hopefully he's still down. They have, they lose their torpor really quick. What is attacking you? Pigo? Is that lag? Can you guys die please? I can't see anything. Hopefully he didn't take anything important. What I'm going to do is just put some berries in my zero slot, because who knows where that pigo went. He'll be back for more. Okay. Don't want him stealing the kibble, that could be tragic. Get in here. Oh, he's still asleep. We obviously gave him way too many narcotics. That's all good. One. Two. Boom. Nailed it, guys. Give him a name. Steel Panther. Because, you know, they're a funny pant. Okay. Okay, they're a guy. Come outside here. Come on. Are you stuck? Are you seriously stuck? You're going to be that kind of cat. Okay. Was all passive. A lot of good find guys. He's pretty uh he's pretty baller. On the way home I'll see if we can't uh give you a little demo. Actually, what I'm gonna do Oh Come back here. What I'm gonna do is get this guy back to the base. Uh, and then I'll meet you guys at the Redwoods so I can kind of give you a little rundown of how I found these guys. So I'll be I'll be right back, guys. Okay, everyone. So we're coming into the Redwoods now. It's very important to be super, super cautious. Because if you get close to a Thylo, it'll actually jump and rip you off your mount. Which, you know, they're not necessarily super strong at low levels, but it's super annoying. Because then you're on the ground in the redwoods. Look, so there's one right there on the tree. So usually what I'll do is I'll pull my spyglass out and I'll have a look. Oh, level you, level eight. I'll jump off, and then I'll try and snipe them off there. Now, if they're kind of high level, yeah, well, if they're kind of mid level, like 50 or 60, I'll actually then pick them up with my quetzal and drop them off near something that they can fight. So what we'll do is we'll pick this guy up. And we'll look for like a... I mean even this Parasir... Parasir... You're not gonna fight it, you're just gonna chase me, you junky thing? Oh, you're gonna pick on a snail. Ah, oh, you're a real uh, warrior right there. Uh, let's see if we can find another one. So yeah, that's, that's kind of what I do. I just fly through here, 
And not necessarily just so I can find a good level one. I, I want everyone to be able to have a good chance. And so if I'm not doing anything, I may as well fly around and, you know, take a few out. It's pretty easy to do. Now, the other thing I wanted to do today is try and find a beaver. Because, well, actually, I want to try and find a dodic. Because now we have our uh, dillo egg farm thingy. We actually have enough eggs to make some dillo kibble. We've got five eggs now, uh, so that's definitely gonna work for us. Uh, but it's just a matter of finding a good level dodex. I mean, we can probably have a look around in here while we're looking for thylacolios. Look, there's a dodic. It's in a ball, which is kind of a pain. It's only level eight, which is kind of a pain. I don't want that junk. I don't want that junk in my house. Uh, but yeah, we can't really focus on the ground too much because we need to watch the trees. Uh, what do we got? Anything good? Anything good? There's one. There's his belly. Yeah, sometimes they don't really line up with the tree very well, which is kind of funny, but... You know, what can you do? Let's have a look. What level are you guy? Level 8. Another level 8. Okay, we'll mark this guy off. And we'll probably just leave him because, you know, I guess the only downside to this is it has been chewing through my darts. I've probably, you know, wasted 15 odd darts, which isn't a lot, but in vanilla, they're not as easy to get. Narcotics are kind of a pain in the boot to make. But, yeah, I don't really see anything else, so we might fly up around the volcano a bit, see if we can't find a good level of dodic, and I'll bring you guys back. Okay, everybody, so we're back, and we found a Dodic. He's level 112. I found him over on the Giga Mountain, so it's actually been all day. Uh, I, had to, I actually ran out of time looking for them. I looked for about an hour, and then I had to go to work. Um, and so I've been back for another hour or so hunting, and I finally found a good level. I'm going to drop him there. I think he's a little bit peeved off, so we're going to fly away. Hopefully he doesn't annoy any of our donos. And then we're going to try and knock him out. I'm a little low on darts. So I might have to use some arrows. Hopefully we don't uh, make them ball up or else this is going to take all day. Let's just bark our quetzal down here, right in the middle of the way. We're going to whistle passive. He's a little bit, the quetzal's a little bit bloody. I've been fighting a couple of alphas along the way, which has been pretty cool. Uh, which means I... What the crap was that? I thought I just heard something like get smashed. That was really weird. Anyway, uh, uh, I lost my track of thought. So let's knock this guy out. Uh, I've got 161 narcotics, and then we're gonna make some kibbles. So do I have any arrows? I don't. I've got oh, I've got what's on me, so that's good. We'll put them on our bar. Hopefully that's enough. We'll load those up. We can always make some more arrows because I have some normal ones, I believe. Yeah, 31. So let's start with the darts. Hey there, guy. Get sleepy. So yeah, this guy will be... Ooh, he does a lot of damage. So this guy will be good for uh, getting our wall upgraded. So we're going to go to a stone wall, hopefully. Uh, but uh, I want to also get our base up and running pretty soon so we can get all our proper crafting stations and everything ready. Go to sleep. I don't know how many darts it takes to knock one of these guys out, but we are using the Ascendant gun as well so hopefully we don't hurt him too much. Man, he's doing a lot of damage to those walls. He is made to harvest stone though, so he's got to be pretty strong. I keep shooting the door frame. Get sleepy. No, don't. Okay, yeah, take the side. Spread the love around. We've only got two darts left. And we're gonna have to swap to arrows, and he's already pretty bloody from. Uh, I found him, when I found him, he was taking on like three sabers, I think. And we're out. Uh, so we were pretty lucky to find him before he balled up, or else I would have had to wait for him to unball, and that's mega pain. Nobody likes that junk. One. I don't know how long you're supposed to wait between shots. I think it's four seconds, but I can't count four for junk. Come on, guy. This thing actually does more damage. Oh, because obviously the darts are supposed to do least damage. That makes sense. Okay. 
Are you gonna stop swinging your tail back and forth? I'm gonna swing my tail back and forth. Okay, he's nearly down because he's running away, which is awesome. Right, my tail. Nice shot. Oh, did you seriously just ball up? I think we can still do Torpor if we keep shooting him. And he's down. Okay. So we must have had just enough in there for him to ball up, which is baller. Uh, let's see if we have any more eggs before we start making Dillo Kibble. Uh, no, we're looking, looking like it's going to be five. Okay, so what do we need? We need a cooking pot. Uh, and we need some midjos. Do we have midjos? Um, probably not in there. Probably in here. Midjos, and we need some fiber. Some fibre. You laid an egg? Good girl. Uh, fibre. Uh, let's put that egg in here. Let's take those eggs, and let me just check really quick. What is the kibble? Uh, Dilo, egg, kibble, kibble, Dilo egg. What do we need? We need citronol and cooked meat jerky. Okay, guys, uh, we're gonna have to get some jerky up and getting made here. I actually don't have any, so I'm gonna shoot over to Morbs real quick and grab some jerky, and I'll bring you guys back, and we'll make up the kibble, and we'll tame up the uh, dodic. Brbs, peeps. Okay guys, we're back and we've got the cooked meat jerky now. We didn't make a cooking pot. Uh, cooking, what do we need? Stone and flint. Some flint. And... No stone. Hmm. Do we have some stone left up in here? Yes, we do. Cook. Let's make a S plus puppy. Okay. Nice. Noise, okay. Uh, we'll take that. Uh, what else do we need? We've got the egg and that, and then we've got the medjos, the fiber. We need citronol, and we need water, which we have. So, uh, let's go five, six, just in case one expires. And uh, we'll place this thing over by our taps. because then we can fill it up real easy. Uh, in fact, I'm going to put it down here. Uh, maybe over here? Yep, and uh, we need some thatch uh, so that we can fuel it. Uh, but the good thing with thatch is it doesn't make charcoal, so then we don't end up making dye. But we might get much dye here soon. Maybe next episode I'll get some dyes ready so we can start painting our stuff. Then we need to make some real armor too. I'm sick of wearing a hide and cloth. We really need to get in some flax since we're high enough level. Okay, so. Let's have a look at this. Put this in here. Thatch. Citronol eggs. Blah, blah, blah. Water. Light. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's always six things for kibble, I think, so. We'll soon see if that stuff pops out. While we're doing that, uh, actually, we need to watch the water. While we're doing that, we'll make the Thylo saddle, I think. Uh, where do we... Engrams. Thylocolio. Crafting the smithy. Crafting. Saddles. Thylocolio saddle. Hide fiber metal. Definitely the right one, yep. So, we'll take him for a little bit of a romp here before the end of the episode. I'll take that. Put that on here. Got a couple of levels, we'll save those. We'll... Oh yeah, baller as. Okay. Let me uh, get this kibble sorted out for you guys. Okay, so we've got the kibble all cooked up. Let's go check it on this guy over here. How are we looking, buddy? How's your torpor? Hopefully this uh tames you quicker than your than your lover. 
Oh, definitely. Two. Three. Okay, so it only needs a couple more bites. So I think what we'll do while we wait for that to happen, because it's going to take a few minutes, is we're going to take Steel Panther out for a quick run. So, the cool thing with these guys is they can climb anything. Oh, that's probably a bit small. Let's test them on this turtle. What level is this turtle? Oh, 112 turtle. Oh, good, good choice. Good choice, buddy. Hopefully we get a bit of experience. It's not doing a whole lot of damage to us though, which is nice. Okay, wrecked. So they jump pretty high. They're reasonably quick straight off the bat. And so you basically, yeah, you jump up anything and they grab hold. They can slide down. They can turn around. There's a raptor. Hey there, raptor guy. They take reduced fall damage, I believe. Okay. Yeah, you're not so tough now, eh, Raptor? <laughs> okay, let's pump some melee. 500. They roar like a lion too, which is baller. Let's head back up that cliff. So jump and I hold spacebar. I don't know if you have to hold spacebar, but... And they can run up any, any built wall as well. Gates, I think they have to run up the gate frame, but they can still run up them. Just not the doors. Uh, I think that's really the only limitation I've come across. But yeah, I mean, it's straight off the bat, it's obviously pretty baller. You can jump over rocks, no problem. Die, Mega Nura. So yeah, it's pretty ballerific. I think an army of these would be probably one of my favorite. This is probably my favorite ground mount at the moment. I mean, you know, Rex and stuff like that's pretty classic, but this guy's cool, man. They've done a great job. It's a cool, it's a cool concept for, uh, I guess, a mechanic. The climbing up. I think you can climb up the redwood trees as well, because that's where you find them, I guess. So it makes sense to be able to climb up there. Let's pump some more. What do we got? Four levels. How much do we get for our health? Six, seven, nine thousand health. That's pretty. That's pretty epic. Definitely think that'll uh, come in handy. Might, or maybe even these guys might be good against the bosses when we get to them eventually. Die Raptor. But he's yeah, he's pretty cool. We might pump a little bit of movement speed on him just so we can get around the map quicker, so we can make use of them. Ah. Oh. Mega Nura, leave me alone. I can't see. Uh, melee, melee. Yeah, epic. He doesn't really seem to have a... Can I get through trees? He doesn't really seem to have like a little dance he does when you level him up. Which is nice. There's nothing worse than being on a dino when it has to roll around and stuff like the Dodic. Can we just run down this cliff? I don't think we can. Oh, he walks pretty good down the cliff there. Oh no, he's, he's got it under control. He's, uh, he's a little bit hurt. Oh, that, I mean, obviously because we pump stuff. Duh, silly me. Okay. Oops, I actually wanted to... There we go. Okay, back at base. Pretty epic, and they're quite big even compared to the Sabre. Let's have a look. Yeah, about twice the size, I would say. Double the cat power. How's this Dodic coming along? He must be nearly there. Oh, and he's up. Great timing. Give him a tag. Uh, what do we want to call him? Uh, I'm not sure. I have all these unnamed dinos, guys. I need some, I need some help. I need some help thinking of some good names. See if we can get it out there without demolishing the whole thing. Yeah, look at that. Good work, Goosette. Well, let's park it over there. We'll have to make a saddle up for him too. Can you guys see those? See the weird lighting effect? For some reason, it's caused by these plants. As soon as I place these plants, now I've got this weird stuttery light shadow kind of thing. Come over here, Dodic. Uh, we're going to need to learn... Dodic. 
And craft saddles. What do we need? Stone and hide. So let's pull some stone. Some stone. And some hide. Uh, where is the hide? Dude, your hide's gone. Hide. Whoa, see one of those got two and a half thousand already? That was pretty quick. So one thing I want to test out with the dodic is apparently now they uh, decrease the weight of stone. Uh, so if we look, a stack of 50 is 25, so a stack of 100 would be 50 on my person. So it should decrease that weight so you can carry more, which is amazing. Hey guy, stop trying to climb up that wall, please. Okay, let's jump on him. He's a nice white color too. I'm, I'm a sucker for a white diner. So, what do we got in our inventory? So he's got 328, which is pretty crappo. This weighs 24.5. 6.1. So that's uh, a quarter? That's awesome. That's ballerific. So he's not going to need nearly as much weight. Let's see what kind of stone he gets per hit straight off the bat. They see me rolling the heat in. I don't know how that song goes, but it's a good song for the uh, occasion. Hit. Ah, oh, 516. Good job, guy. Ah, oh, 529. Ah, oh, you're a boss. He's already overweight, but that's only 300 weight, so we should be able to get him up to at least 1,000 when, uh, when he decides to start rolling around. I might be weighing him down a bit too. How are we looking? Ah, oh, no problem. Only half. We can probably get another stone. Come on. Come on, guy. How are you looking? Let's go back to the base. Cool, guys. So it's been a pretty uh, pretty eventful day. We've got a couple of things done. We've got a new Dodic. And we've got our new Thylacolia, Steel Panther. He's going to be pretty baller. I'm super excited about that. Um, what else did we do? Uh, and we made some kibble for the first time, so we replaced our cooking pot. We're going to have to get into an industrial cooker in the not too distant future, because I think I can make that here soon. Uh, but I think that's where we're going to call it. So if you guys like the episode, smash that thumbs up button, guys. I really appreciate it. All the likes count. If you have any comments, please uh, put them in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of my new dodic. If you have a name for it, let me know. I'm like a Sam Terrible name. If you like my new Thylacolio, tell me all about it. If you uh, like my sweet cooking pot, it's pretty boring, but it does the job. Put it in the comment section down below. And if you guys want to see some more, please subscribe. I really appreciate it, and have a great day. Bye. <laughs>